This video is on transferring a laser print to a linoleum block. The same method also works on wood blocks. Begin with a piece of linoleum that has been sanded using 150 to 220 grit. I like to use a little water when I do this and work it into a paste. A lot of linoleum, like Battleship Gray, comes with a fine layer of wax on the surface to keep the material fresh. This coating will resist water-based media and can make finicky transfers like this one more difficult. On the left is the original drawing, and on the right is the printout I'll be transferring. I pumped up the darks a little so it will be easier to see. This must be made with a laser printer. Inkjet printers don't use toner, so this process won't work with those. You don't need to reverse the image because it will flip on the block and then flip again when you pull the print. This printout is to scale, so I'm trimming off the extra borders to make it the same size as the linoleum. But it doesn't have to be. You could also cut out different images and collage them together on the plate. Tape the print face down on the block. I cut away some negative space to do it because attaching the tape directly to the face of the linoleum, when possible, creates a more reliable hinge than wrapping it around the back side of the block. You can do the transfer using Citrusolve, but the blending marker is my preference because it limits the amount of fluid making contact with the paper. The only downside is how little fluid is inside the pen, although they can be refilled. All of these chemicals are toxic and volatile and should be used with proper ventilation. Color the back side of the printout with the blending marker. If using a liquid solvent, apply a tiny amount to a rag or a cotton ball. Burnish the back side of the print to push the toner off the paper and onto the linoleum. I'm using a burnisher to do this, but a metal spoon or the handle of a paintbrush would work too. You do need to apply some pressure for this to work. These chemicals evaporate quickly, so expect to do a small area at a time. This requires a careful balance of using enough solvent to rip the toner off the paper and deposit it onto the block, but not so much that the block becomes slick and the toner won't adhere. Check to be sure everything is transferred, and then remove the photocopy. This technique can be a little tricky, so you may want to have a couple photocopies on hand. You can always sand the image off the plate if you're dissatisfied with the transfer or need to reposition something. This transfer method yields excellent detail, with the added benefit of not needing to reverse the image.